we'll start working on actions from section 12.1. The, we're going to build an action that allows the user to select on a polygon and the polygon will be extracted and created as a new layer. We'll also learn how to how actions work and where to write code from. So let's open up QGIS and we'll start with a blank project. So you can just start a new project in QGIS. We want to load some data. Many times when I'm working on QGIS, I want some data to play with or I just want a layer of all the countries. An easy way to get this is by going to your coordinates tab here and typing world. This is an Easter egg that is hidden in QGIS where you can type world inside your coordinates tab and you'll get this layer of all the countries of the world. So go and try this, open up a new QGIS project, go and open up type world in your coordinate tab, which will load this natural earth countries layer and we'll work with this data for this exercise. This is a vector layer, which has got some attributes. You can see it has got name attribute, which is the name of the country and some additional information. Let's define an action and we'll see how does it work. Once you have a layer, we're going to define the action. Let's go to the properties, right click properties. You'll have to do this alongside me. So I'm going to give you a little pause after explain. So let's open the properties of this world layer in your properties section, in your property section, switch to the actions tab, this is where you will define the actions. Currently, there are no actions defined on this layer. So let's create, click on this plus button. There's a plus button here. It says add a new action. This will bring up this new dialog where you can define your action. So from the main QGIS window, right click properties, select the actions tab and type of action. There are actions that are specific to an OS. You can write an action that will work on Windows, something with Unix. You can trigger some commands or open some application. We want to do a Python action, which are platform agnostic. It'll run on all platforms using Python code. So make sure you select the action as Python. We're going to type the name of the action. This will be the name of your action that people will see. We'll just type it, hello world. The scope is canvas and feature. That's fine. You can leave it as it is. And here is where you can type the code, Python code. You can type any Python code, any PyQGIS code. It works in this context. Let's just type print hello world just to know what happens. How does this code get executed? And that's it. Click OK. So in your action, we defined it as a Python action, the description hello world. And we just added the code print hello world to it. Click OK. Click OK again. And now when you come to your main QGIS window, you will see that this action button is enabled. And in this drop down, you see hello world. So go and find this actions button. It might be hidden inside your toolbar if it doesn't have in a space, but it should be right next to this measure and map tips button here. Let's open the Python console so we can see the output of a print. We wanted to execute the print statement. So the print output will be in the console here. Let's trigger this action. So you can go ahead and see this hello world. Remember actions are triggered when you click on a feature. So go and any feature, any polygon, click, and you'll see hello world printed there. Every time you click on a feature, you'll print hello world. So now we are saying we have an action. You trigger it by clicking on a feature and we, our action is simple right now, just printing hello world. This is just to know how the actions are defined and how they are triggered. Let's make it do something more useful. Let's go back to the action properties, actions. You can double click on this action to edit it. So I'm going to double click to open this dialogue again. And instead of hello world, I want to now print the name of the polygon. Remember we have a name attribute that I want to print. So here we have the expression dialog. There's a drop down next to it. These are all the different fields this particular layer has. If I select name and insert, you can see it gets inserted in this syntax, square bracket percentage name percentage square bracket. So whatever is here will be replaced by the value of the name attribute when you click on the feature. And let's just print that. So I'm going to say print and we're going to put this inside of code. So replace it with this code here and click OK. Go back to the main canvas and now trigger the action. You will see that as you click on the feature, you now see the name of the feature that you clicked on it. This shows that you can now use actions to get the access the attribute of the feature where the user clicked on it. Let's go back to the action. I'm going to go back to the properties action. And now I'm going to make it do something useful. What we want to do is when we click on this feature, we want to 
take that polygon and create a new layer and add it to the canvas. So we want to just extract the feature and add it to the canvas. I'm going to go and find the code snippet in your course material. This is in step number 15. We have this code snippet. Let's copy paste. I'm going to explain the code once I paste it here. So we have the name. So it's going to get the name of the feature, ID of the feature, and the layer ID. So we want to take the layer and do something with it. So this will give us whatever layer we are working with. We say, I have a layer ID. I want to get the layer object. So this will give us the QGIS map layer, QGIS vector layer object. And this one has this particular function called materialize. This is part of the QGIS vector layer class where you can say, given a set of features, create a new layer out of it. So we say, take all the features that are selected, which is just the one feature that we have selected. We clicked on, take the feature and create a new layer from it. And the new layer will be what name something temporary layer kind of thing. We say set the name of the layer to be the same as the name of the feature. If you clicked on Mexico, the layer name should be Mexico. And then we click and add a new layer. So this is the code that will get triggered when you click on a feature. It'll find out what's the layer, extract the feature from the layer, materialize a new layer, and set the name of the new layer to be the name of the feature. Try out, let's copy paste the code from step 15. Click OK. And now click on any feature. I'm going to click on this feature, which is US. And you can see I have a new layer that was created in QGIS from that particular feature. If you want to trigger it again, select the layer, the world map, click on any other polygon, and it'll create a new layer with that particular polygon. If you're using this, it's kind of annoying that I select this layer, I create a new layer, and my active layer becomes this new layer. I have to go back and trigger this action again. So we can kind of update this to say, whenever I trigger this action, it'll create a new layer, but make my active layer back to the layer that I have. So I'm going to change that, go back to the action. I'm going to add one line of code to this, where we say, after you create this new layer, I want you to set the active layer to be the current layer. So this layer is whatever layer we triggered on, we'll use the iFace to set the active layer. Again, you have access to iFace within actions, you just have to import it. So we just have to import it here and we can add this code here. This is your step number 17 here. So go and copy the code from here. And now you can have some fun Triggering actions, you can clip clicking and it's going to create new layers from it. Whenever I'm working with actions, it always feels like there's some magic happening. I click something and stuff happens and it is triggering this little bits of Python code in the background. This is a trivial example, but you can think of applications of this that you say, I'm working with some layer, I click on a feature, I want to do something with it, right? I can now have access to the feature and the layer. I can execute any PyQGIS code, create new layers, save it as a different thing print some information and so on.